back to Restoring Your Life with Linda Lang. Thank you for continuing sticking it out with us. Uh, we are really excited about um, sharing with you how the immune system works because, you know, we need to know our bodies. We need to know how it works. We can't just, you know, I just want to go to the doctor and have him try to figure everything out. We have a world of information and we have all kinds of information out on the web. You can take a look at, you know, how the body works and so forth. And you can go and study for yourself. But there are uh, areas that your immune system is housed in your body and it's in your bone marrow, it's in your blood. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, a broken spirit dries up the bones and that's what happens yes. to your marrow. It gets dried up. So if you have bone problems and brittle bones and you have any autoimmune disease, any kind of autoimmune disease is because of a broken immune system that comes from uh, stress, fear. And you know what it's called? It's called a cortisol drip. Yes. And so <clears throat> I want you to take a look real quickly over here at this chart. Now, this is, the, this is what your immune system looks like right here. <clears throat> and um, an antigen is an intruder. It comes in and it says, I'm going to come in. It's a virus. It is a, uh, an issue, a, you know, a, a disease or some kind of a something that's coming into your body. So the macrophage is the one that says, aha, intruder. Mm -hmm. Who goes there, you know? Right. And then he right. starts to um, create the T cell, which is a helper. It starts to tell the T cell to, um, hey, you know, we need to do something about this. And then, and then the interleukin down here, it starts to activate more T cells and regulates white blood cells. We need to understand that we have a process that our body is able to heal itself. It's been created by the, by the Lord God, and it is to work properly, you know, uh, mm -hmm. it, our body is supposed to work properly. But what causes it to break down is the cortisol. Yeah. The cortisol is a good thing. It's the fight or flight. It's called mm -hmm. the stressor hormone. Right. It's what it's called. Right. And so, but if we stay in that heightened anxiety and stress 24-7, it's called a cortisol drip. And you know that, that torture they did? I don't know when they did that torture. When they would lay you down and they drip the water mm -hmm. one at a time. And after right. a while, it's like, oh, my goodness, it's too much, you know? Yes. It, Choose a way, and, and even if you look at the Grand Canyon, how did the Grand Canyon got formed? By water pushing on it. Well, that's what's happening. The cortisol is pushing on our immune system and cutting things away and destroying it. Yes. And what happens is that it causes cell death. And a cell can never be rejuvenated. And once it's dead, mm -hmm. it's dead. It's dead. There, there's no more bringing it back. And so that's why it's important that we understand how our body works and how the immune system works. Isn't yes. that correct? Yes, that's right. And just like you said, you know, the um, stress hormones were created for a good thing. Yeah. As if, you know, uh, you're walking in the woods and you're just walking along and all of a sudden a grizzly bear jumps out in front of you, yeah. right? Well, thank goodness for the, the hormones like cortisol and the adrenal glands that produce all these chemicals, a rush of chemicals then that uh, goes to your legs and goes to your arms so you can either fight or flight, run. So the grizzly bear jumps out in front of you and you take off uh -huh. running, right? And thank goodness, and you climb up the tree. And it's all great and, you know, now... After a while, the body will come back down mm -hmm. to, into a balance, and it'll get, get back into that homeostasis state, that place of balance. Mm -hmm. But in today's world, yeah. what's happened is that people live in this state of stress, which the grizzly bear in today's society, unless you live in Alaska or somewhere, mm -hmm. the, the grizzly bear is now... You know, uh, you're in traffic every day on your commute, and and people cutting you off, and and road rage, and and yeah. you're you know you're under a lot of pressure at work, and you have a bad relationship maybe at home or different things like that. Uh, those are the same as the body uh, sees as the grizzly bear jumping out in front right. of you. So it's constant, and this, like you said, it's that it's that drip. The constant drip that is the most harmful yes. for the person and breaks down the immune system. And your arm, it's like an army within. Your immune system mm -hmm. is like you have this mm -hmm. army within you. And it's great if you'll help to keep your army strong, doing the things, uh, feeding them right, you know, getting them exercise, you know, like a, a regular army. You've mm -hmm. got to really keep them strong. 
Stress can knock out your army. Like we said, 10 big guys, mm -hmm. five of them are on the floor for six hours after a five minute episode of intense negative emotions. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding. It's just, it, it's mind boggling, but we need to understand this because the enemy knows our bodies more than we know our bodies. He was there when the Lord created our bodies. So, um, you know, we need to know a little bit about our immune system and how it works. And I find that uh, people who have autoimmune diseases also has a broken heart towards themselves. Yes. There's self-hatred, self, -hatred, self right. um, you know, mm -hmm. conflict. There's, uh, you know, it's because it's rooted in not being loved again. Why would somebody not love themselves? Because somebody didn't love them, so gave them, like, well, then if they can't love me, then I can't love me. Yes. So sometimes we, we equate that to God. So here we are, you know, now we're, now, now let's talk about how do we get freed. Right. Because now that, now that we know what it looks like, how right. it happens, how it feels, how do we get free? Right. That's scripture. Perfect, perfect love, love casts, casts out fear. fear. So who's perfect love? What perfect love? God's perfect love. Yeah. And when I sat in the uh, living room okay. one day, and when I was all anxious and stuff and had so much going on in my thoughts, I said, Lord, I want to know what it means to be loved by you, really loved by you. And I've been a Christian a long time. I knew that God loved me, but I didn't know he loved me in here. Yes. So once I started to ask him, he, he let me have it. Oh. And I started receiving his love. And do you know by receiving his love, I was able to love my husband better. I was able yes. to love other people better. I was able to love myself. I had um, ca um, candida, an oh. immune system yes, disease. That's a, that's I had immune. IBS. I yes. had psoriasis. All these things that are rooted in anxiety and stress and fear. Yes. And gone. You know, I was able to eat a, a banana the next day Praise after God. I got healed yes, from repenting from to God to saying, I didn't know I needed your love more. I'm sorry, Lord. I want it. So I want to tell you right now, just for this few minutes, I want to tell you right now that you have the ability to receive healing right now, right yes. where you're at from the spirit yes. of fear. See, God has not given us a spirit of fear. It's not an emotion. It's not something you need to put a maintenance program on. It is a spirit, okay? I've been a Christian a long time, so if you don't believe that, that's okay. You can just continue putting a medicine on it and fellowshipping with it. I didn't want it anymore. I knew then I needed to get it out. So I said, Lord, I want that spirit of fear out. Somebody prayed for me and just said, spirit of fear, go. So I'm speaking to you. If you want that spirit to go, just listen to me right now. Spirit of fear that is in anybody that is listening in right now, you release this person's heart, yes. mind, will, and emotions and leave them Thanks. right now in the name of Jesus. And I'm asking, Father, that your perfect love would flood them right now so that where the enemy left, that you would fill them in those areas where the enemy was so that they'll be made perfect in your love. Allow them to taste you and, and see that you are good. Allow them to receive of your goodness and of your mercy and your peace and your joy. Allow them to, to know that you love them. And allow them to know this, Lord, because they don't know. That's why there's fear. So, Father, it is your perfect love. And anybody else in the world that has fear, Father, I'm asking you, Lord, to minister to them right now. We want to end with something very exciting. We want to just end with a song. Oh, yes. Okay? Yes. And um, go ahead and grab okay. your guitar. And it's just a diddly. It's a little diddly song. And, and she used to sing this um, in a song for, for cancer patients, people who... Mm -hmm. um, who needed to, to renew their minds because, you know, not only do you got to get rid of the spirit of fear and receive the Father's love, you got to renew your mind. That's the, that's the one, two, three punch, I call. Yes. You know, uh, receive God's love, forgive everybody, and renew your mind. And, you know, that is huge. Yes, yes. And so. Because your thoughts really matter. Yes. And so. Um, We're going to talk. Okay. It, okay. It's, it's a song you're going to be familiar with. So I want right. you to it's, sing along with us, hum along with us, because we did change the words up a little bit. Hum, hum along with us, okay. and, and you'll notice my, <laughs> my guitar is holy. Yes, yes. it is. Very holy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a tune, a familiar tune, uh, like to Three Blind Mice. So sing along, oh. guys. Three blind mice, three bad thoughts. See how they run. See how they run. You don't smile at anyone. You have no joy and you have no fun with three bad thoughts. Yeah, three bad thoughts. But, but <laughs> with three good thoughts, three good thoughts. 
brings in the sun, brings in the sun. Let joy and happiness be complete. Let joy and happiness be complete with three good thoughts. Three good thoughts. Okay, that's a lot of fun, I'll tell you. Thoughts. We got to have fun in we our have life. To have fun. You know what? If you think you have to be so spiritual for the rest of your life and not have any fun, that is not scriptural. No. The Bible says that in 10, John 10.10 10, that the Lord came to give life abundantly, yes. not to put a bunch of pressure on us. He's the one that carries everything. Let us enjoy our life oh, more. Let us, he uh, carries and our when burdens. we receive the love of God, we're going to yes. be able to love ourselves, have compassion on ourselves, and not be so fearful and stressed and, 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 and all that. So I want you to take a yes. moment. To think about this, that joy, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah. That, um, that, he you know. that your joy might be full. That's right, be yes. full. We want the fullness of God. Yes. And Ephesians talked about that. The depth and the height to comprehend the love of Christ yes. so that we can have the fullness of God the Father. Praise so God. I want to speak to you right now and, and pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that every person here would be able to Get a grasp on what fear is in their lives and that you would be able to receive the truth that makes you free. And if you want to speak to me, please email me at linda at truthfreeze.org. You can go to my website and my Facebook page as well and connect with me there. I will be happy to talk with you and to pray with you and work through this because it doesn't just happen overnight but I'll work with you. So I thank you again for tonight's show, and we will see you next time.